If you're a TPT seller, then you've probably already heard the news that Teachers Pay Teachers is making some changes to our storefronts. That includes removing the banner at the top of our dashboard that enabled us to be able to make a clickable link and take them to our email list before. For SEO reasons, it totally makes sense why they're doing this and why they're limiting us to social media platforms. However, there is a way for you to use your banner to drive people to your email list and grow that thing that we know really matters because we want to have our customers info, even if we can't include a clickable link. Hi, by the way, my name is Brittany Verlenich. I'm a social media strategist and host of the Social Media Magic Podcast. And though I'm not a TPT specific coach, I work with many TPT sellers on things like managing their social media, setting up their many chat funnels, and finding really clever ways for them to grow their community and get traffic to their products. So let's get into it. The strategy today in question is QR codes. QR codes aren't super new. People have been using them for a long time. You might have even noticed that if you've been here for a while, I use them in my videos and you'll see one towards the end here just to see an example. But basically what it is, is it's this code that you can scan with your phone. You hold up your phone. You actually open up the camera like you're going to take a picture. You hold it up to the QR code and then you'll see a link pops up. You tap the link and it takes you to a link. And that's exactly what we're going to be setting up so that when teachers go to your storefront, if and when they do, they have the opportunity to get on your email list, which is so important. It's really one of the only few assets that we own as business owners. And so we want to make sure we have a way to contact our customers directly. By the way, if you are into this, definitely check out my YouTube channel. You can click subscribe now, or you can wait till the end if you want to see if you like my video first, totally understand how that goes. Or you can go ahead and add the Social Media Magic Podcast to your favorite podcast player because you will find all kinds of tips and ideas there. I have over 100 episodes as of when this video is recorded. All right, let's flip this screen around so you can see exactly how to do this really quickly in Canva. By the way, for this video, I'm just going to use a different document. I have my own store templates and I'm making those and I will have them ready sometime soon in my own TBT store. So if you haven't already, go ahead and follow my store so that you're notified with a little note when those templates are ready. And I have all kinds of other things to help you with social media growth too and content. Let's talk QR codes. It's really easy to make a QR code in Canva. You're simply gonna go down to where it says apps. And when you click an app, you wanna look for one that just says QR code. That way you don't have to connect to some other account or something. Then we're going to put in our freebie here. I actually have this awesome, perfect bio checklist. So I'm gonna type in bio here so I can grab the link from lead pages. I'm gonna copy that here, go into Canva, paste, customize if you wanna make a different color. Let's go ahead and do a darker color since this is a light background. And we'll do actually the white is the background and the foreground. We'll do this bluish color. We'll leave the margin as it is, generate code. And there we go. And then I would just size it bigger or smaller as needed. And I like to keep it somewhat big. I mean, it doesn't have to be that big in your banner. Obviously that's important in real estate, but you can just go ahead and drag it. You don't want to make it too small because you want for it to be able to come up. From there, once you have the graphic how you want it, you simply download as you would any other image and upload the banner to your TPT store. Now, I wanted to answer a few questions that came up in the Wallflowers Facebook group when I was talking about this with some other sellers. Question number one, Will this work if someone is looking at TPT on their phone? From the data I have so far, it seems like most people shop on their desktop or laptop. However, depending on how new the phone is, many of them do have this scan QR code feature button. It is possible for them to scan a QR code if they're on their phone, but most people probably don't know how to do that. So I would say this is mostly for people who are using their laptop or desktop to make a purchase, and then they would use their phone, put it up to the QR code and take a picture. You'll actually see an example here in a second. Question number two, do people even see the banner or the store at all? I mean, aren't most people doing a search, finding your product and buying there? Well, yeah, that's most people. However, if you do have a really clear niche and you're showing them in the product itself, you have a link going back to your store, then yeah, you might want to have an opportunity to capture their email because yes, of course you can put the opt-in link in the product itself and have them grow the email list from there, but maybe they're not sure yet and they want to see, do you even have any other good products for them? Quote unquote, remember this is their perspective. So they might want to check out your store first and then give them the opportunity to opt in if they like what they see in your shop. And that's it for now. If you liked this video, go ahead and click the like button, then subscribe and hit that little bell so you never miss notifications of when a new video is posted. You can also check out the Social Media Magic Podcast. I'll put the podcast cover somewhere up on here so you can see it. And last but not least, I told you I was going to give you an example. This is a QR code that everybody has access to if they have an Instagram account. When you go to your profile, you'll see some buttons under your bio. You can actually hit that button that says share profile and you get the option to make a QR code. So this is something you can consider if you're also growing your own Instagram account. This is really great for YouTube. Obviously, this is a YouTube video now. 
or maybe even for your own products if you want to have a quick, easy way for them to get onto your Instagram account. But you can make a QR code linking to whatever you want using the technique you learned in this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.